Hi, it's me again with For Real Doll Tips and Tricks. I bet a lot of people don't think about using the artistic media tool to make a pattern or a shape like this. If we take a circle and hit P, put it in the center of the page, Control D to make a duplicate, hold down the Shift key and make a ring, it's always better to take the Smart Fill tool and fill in that ring because then you get a complete pattern and then hit P and we'll left click, right click, and we got an outline. It's real easy to take a, just a, a, a solid line, two points, four points, whatever you want to take in Control D. It rotates from the center. We're just going to rotate it five degrees, and I'm just Control Ding around. Now you have to take this shape and group it together, which would be Control G, hit P, take it all and intersect it, and look what you get. You get that. That's cool enough in itself, but it's still grouped together, so now we can take the artistic media tool, click on the brush, and click on one of the lines, and nothing changed, but when we change the stroke width, look what you get. That fast, a bunch of diamond shapes, and I'm just playing with one of the many strokes that you could use. Let's go down here and make it a little thinner. You know, I must not be... I must not be selected on it, but you could get a really neat effect. Let's back up here and let's pick another stroke and see what happens this time. It'll almost be easier. That's one thing I like about the intersect tool. You can go do it again. You haven't, you know, it's not like the power clip tool. Sometimes you don't get it all, but there it is right there. Let's get the artistic media tool this time and let's pick a different, let's pick one that's a little thicker on one end than the other. Click on it, and then you always have to change the thickness. Now, for some reason, it does that. That could be probably fixed, I guess, when it rotated the line around one end. Uh, well, we can just look at that, too. Let's look at these lines ungrouped. And if we look at them with the shape tool, that one is going down or that one's going up. So I rotated them all around uh, and so the arrows on the outside and it's down at the bottom so that you get that effect but let's just back up here and see if we can't you know now we're going to pick a different brush stroke maybe that uh, doesn't have a tail on it or a head on it let's try one like this put it on our brush and then go up or down well that didn't work with a flip Let's back up here. Let's try a different brush stroke. Um, let's try this one has two. Look at that. That'd take you a little while to draw, even if you drew it and, and, and ran it around. So think about using the artistic media tool and the intersect tool uh, to get shapes like this. I mean, to get these rings and, you know, you don't even, I don't know what happened to that ring. I must have hit it with the artistic media tool. But I really think it's important. One, you can use it for trimming. If those lines are too long and you want it to be a 12-inch circle. I didn't have my ratio lock. If we take this and put it in the middle, and it is actually 16. But if we wanted to make them 12, we could intersect it. And then you have a 12-inch disc. Uh, but just remember when you're doing double rings like this, I think it's better to fill it in. Uh, you could probably group it together or combine it, but this here is a lot safer. And then you're going to do the same thing. And that's one reason I like the intersect tool is that you could keep using it over and over and over again. You know, you wouldn't have to intersect them on, you know, the top dead center. You could do this and get a total different look. You know, look at that. Pretty cool effect. Let's make the lines a little bit thicker so it'll stand out a little bit. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.